Hello everyone and welcome back. In our last video, we looked at what Git is and how it differs from GitHub. Now that you understand the what and why, it's time for the exciting part. Getting Git onto your machine and setting it up for your coding adventures. So this is a hands-on session, so let's get started. So we will cover three main steps in this video. One is downloading and installing Git on your specific operating systems, which could be Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Then verifying the Git installation, whether Git is correctly installed, and then configuring Git with your user information and then the default branch name. Now, before we begin, make sure you have an active internet connection. So let's look at the step one, which is downloading and installing it. So let's go through the installation process for each of the major operating system. So find your OS and you can follow along. So if you're, so first I'll show you the Windows uh, machine, Mac OS, I'll just show you the steps and then um, uh, we will talk about your Linux machines. So if you're on your Windows machine, you can open up your web browser and you can go to this git-scm.com slash downloads. And here you should be able to see. So this is the official Git website and the safest place to download Git. So here you can click on download for Windows and click on this Git for Windows uh, 64 setup. Um, if you have a 32-bit setup, uh, looks like it doesn't have. So 64 is the default one. So once the download completes, so here in this case, you can see I've already downloaded it just to save some time. Uh, you just have to run the installer, which is the exe file. So let me open that up. And next, so you just have to follow along and just click on next, 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 next. So we have the bash here, GUI, next, 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 next. So just follow along and go with the next options and this should install git for us. So once the installation finishes, you will get an option to uh, uncheck the view release notes. We will do that and then just finish it. So it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing fancy about this. You just have to download the installer file and then just go next, 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 next. And that should install the um, uh, git tool for us. Now in this case, this will download the git bash, which is your command line and also the GUI if you prefer the GUI version. So in my case, this will go ahead and install the uh, tool. And like I said, once the installation finishes, you can uncheck this and just click on finish. And that should install git on your Windows machine. So now if you search uh, in your start bar, if you search for git, you should be able to see the git bash as well as your uh, git GUI. So here you have the git cmd, git bash and git GUI. Now this is for your Windows machine. Now if you're on Mac, uh, you have few options. The easiest and most recommended method is using Homebrew, which is the popular package manager for Mac OS. So here I have this repo and I have the instructions here. So this is for the Mac OS. So if you have homebrew, then you can simply run this command. But if you don't have homebrew installed, then you can run this particular command, which will install uh, homebrew for us. Now this might take a few minutes. Once your homebrew is installed, simply run this command brew install git, which will install git on your Mac OS machine. Alternatively, you can also use this command uh, which is uh, Apple's Xcode command line tool. Now this includes Git and this is a quick way if you already need these tools. You can also download a dedicated installer for Mac from this URL. So if I go to this URL, um, you have the option of downloading the installer as well. But using Homebrew ensures you get a recent and well-maintained version of Git. Now, if you're on Linux machine, so here I have my Linux machine. So if you're on Ubuntu or Debian based systems, you can first update the machine and then you can run this command to install Git. And if you're on Fedora or Red Hat machine, then you can run this command to install your Git. So here I can run this command. Now, 
if you are on an older version of Red Hat or Set OS, Cent OS, you can run this particular command. So here you can see running that the first command, this will install Git for us on your Linux machine. All right. So these commands will download and install the latest version of Git for your uh, distributions. Now the next step would be to verify the git installation. So now that git is installed, let's verify whether it's working correctly. So you can open up your preferred terminal or command prompt. So if you're on Windows machine, you can use git bash, command prompt or PowerShell. And you can simply run this command git hyphen hyphen version, right? So if you see an output similar to this git version and then the, the version, Congratulations, Git is successfully installed and ready, ready to go on your system. If you get an error like command not found, then recheck your installation steps or um, if you're on Windows machine, especially the path configuration for Windows users. Now, the next step we have is configuring your Git, which is mainly your identity. So before you make your first commit, we need to tell Git who you are. This information gets embedded into every commit you make, which is crucial for tracking changes and collaboration. We will use the git config command specifically with the hyphen hyphen global flag. So we will use this command and we will use this flag hyphen hyphen global. Now the hyphen hyphen global flag means these settings will apply to all of your git repositories you work on this computer. So first we will set the username, all right? So use the name you want to appear in your commits. So the command would be git config hyphen hyphen global user.name and uh, in double quotes, the name that you want to appear, uh, you want to appear. So let's say I want this name. Next is setting your email address. So it's best to use the email address associated with your GitHub account or whatever remote service you will use. So the command for that would be git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email and then the email address that is associated with your github account whatever uh, that is associated so we'll run this then finally setting the default branch name now this is important for modern workflows all right so this is a crucial modern practice uh, which is setting your default branch name to main historically master was common but main is now the preferred standard this uh, this setting will apply whenever you initialize a new git repository so the command for that would be git config hyphen hyphen global and then init default branch and the branch name would be so this is the uh, first time setup uh, configuring your git and it's a one time uh, setup you don't have to do it again and again and again unless you have to change some of the values the last thing we have is verify your configuration now this is optional but it is recommended so you can always check your global settings by running this command git config hyphen hyphen global and then hyphen hyphen list so in our case we have done three things one is uh, setting the username, setting the email address, and then setting the uh, default branch name. All right, so this command will display your global Git configuration. So you can ensure your name, email address, and default branch are correctly listed. Fantastic. So you have successfully installed Git and configured your user identity. You are now officially ready to start managing your code with this powerful tool. In the next video, we are going to create our first Git repository and dive into the absolute core of the Git workflow. How to stage your changes, commit them to your repository and view your project's history. It's going to be very exciting. If you followed along and got Git up and running, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more uh, content and drop your questions if you have in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.